Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGM007 and today we're looking at the Custom Blueprint plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to build a structure in Minecraft and save it as a blueprint and then you can build it whenever you want. So I've got a few examples here, I've been messing around with it, learning about the plugin. So let's have a look at what this is. So the first one is a portal blueprint. If I right click the top of the tree, it will spawn just in front of it. Now the reason for that is when you create the blueprint, it is created in reference to where you're currently standing. So make sure you stand very close to it and we will demonstrate this soon. And then we have a weird lamp here that I've created. We have a lamp and I forgot to click one of the blocks, which is why one of them is missing. And also flooring. If I go ahead and right click the top of this tree, that my floor gets generated like this. Very simple that I made. So that's the sort of thing you can do with it. Obviously you can make far more complex structures and slightly better than this, but that is kind of a, a look at how it works. So the first thing we need to do is actually create one of these empty blueprints. Now the way we do that is using all of these items here. So we need two bits of redstone and in the middle we've got some lapis and then some paper in the middle. Then we have an ink sack on the left and a feather to create an untitled blueprint. Now what we need to do with this is go ahead and right click a structure. So it's a good idea to use scaffolding. Um, that will allow you to build it in the right place that you actually want it. So what I'm going to do is actually build a little bookcase staircase kind of thing here. Now the first thing I want to do is actually put it in reference to where I am. So I'm going to stand on this bit of scaffolding here and then what I can do is right click the block I am standing on and then we can right click all the other blocks that we want to be saved. Now it's not going to say anything in chat while you're doing this, you just got to make sure you actually click every single block but if you hover over it it says 10 unfinished blocks. So what we can do now is go to a cartography table and right click, turn it into a finished blueprint. So here we go, it's an untitled blueprint that is now finished. So we can grab this, put it into an anvil and bookcase. We're gonna call it a name, that way we can remember what it is used for. So now that we've got this, what we can do is place it down somewhere. So if I were to go ahead and right click this block beneath me here, it's going to form in front of me all the blocks that we chose and because we set it up using the scaffolding that has disappeared and it spawns right in front of me as we want. That way it's not just floating randomly somewhere, that is the important part um, when creating one of these. So here we are on the spigot page, you can see it's updated for 1.19. Now the important bit for this is you must load the Hacks plugin loader on your server before installing the plugin. So down here, installation, um, you can either download the plugin and then put it into the plugins folder like normal, or you can put it into the HXMC plugin loader folder. Now that will allow you to not have an exception in your server console. Um, it's harmless, but that is one thing you could do to prevent that error from occurring. And that plugin is also free to download if you were to click on this. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.